know a lot about the individuals that we have here at the zoo. But there's still a lot we don't know about the life that's out there in our oceans. And there's a few common misconceptions out there about seals. One of those is that they're lazy and all they do every day is simply eat and sleep. Now there's a lot of you out there this morning, so put your hands up if you're one of those people who think seals are just lazy animals. There's a few hands going up out there. <laughs> Guys, that's an easy mistake to make. If you've been lucky enough to see seals in the wild, there's probably a very good chance you would have seen them hauled out, maybe up on the beach, or even up on some rocks. They probably weren't doing much at all, just lounging around. <laughs> Great day like today. Yeah, maybe even a little bit of sun making. Now Marley may appear very relaxed, but it's a relaxed looking seal that's often on high alert. You see, seal colonies can be busy places. Tensions can run a little high. So it's very important for seals, and especially the bulls like Marley, to always keep their eyes open and watch their back at all times. Now that's because a bigger and louder seal will come along and act tough. So it's much easier for the smaller seals if they simply just stay out of the way. And that way any of the stronger seals get to pass on their genes. Now Marley's pretty impressive, about 160 kilos. These boys, finish, when they finish growing, can be well over 300 kilos. And even at that very large size, they're incredibly powerful animals. Isn't that right, Marley? Bit of showing off? Nice work, Marley. All that body weight up on those very powerful front flippers of his. Well, as you can see, when it comes down to it, the seals do just love to play. And it's when you see a group of seals that play together, you get a good sense of how perfectly designed they are for life in the water. These underwater acrobats are beautifully streamlined. They're lightning fast and very strong. And you focus your attention to that end of the pool, which is going to give you a bit of a demonstration of the amazing ability these animals possess as they travel through the water. Now, not only can they change direction of this life, these animals can lead to some pretty amazing heights. And Marley's going to wrap up his spot in the show this morning with a jump, what we call a high bow. We're going to ask Marley to attempt the leap to about three meters above the water. Pretty big jump for an animal that's 160 kilos. The guys, once again, are going to call on your help this morning. On the count of three, I need you all as loud as you can to call out jump, Marley. He's going to try and touch this boy with his nose. So if we're all ready, one, two, three. Charlie! <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Guys, I think I have to be a little bit louder this morning. He's only got little ears. If we're all ready to try once more, fingers crossed, Marley will budge this time. If we're all ready, one, two, three. Charlie! As you can see, these animals are pretty amazing.